a slightly less ashamed. Grazie, grazie. Thank you ever so much. May you meet souls as nice as you on your journey through Hades. We gotta do good deeds in hell, man. I had an interesting uh, uh, thought. You think after you're dead, people look through your browsing history for laughs? You know, like the way they look through old pictures. Good God, I hope not. I don't need people knowing how many times I looked up how to spell banana. If that's your floor, I think you'll be okay. The sealed nah. I think this is the place. We gotta, go, we gotta go get gonna... Just gonna what? It's demonic entities only beyond this point. Incubi, succubi, demons of fate, familiars, leviathans, Norwegians, CEOs of Walmart. We get it. I'm sure there are other, more appropriate establishments that would be more than happy to serve. Uh, listen, Bouncer Guy, we're here to see Apollyon, so why don't you step aside and... <laughs> and no one just sees Apollyon. But... There is pleasure in the pathless woods, friends. Know what that means. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, yes. Ha! <laughs> um, excuse me, uh, fellow, fellow demon. Make way for Coleco Magnavox, the demon of, uh, foot hands. Oh, right this way, sir. Oh, you dumb as fuck. We gonna get you. We gotta find a costume. Okay, so, I have another interesting thought. But I want you to promise that you won't make fun of me if it's dumb. They say there's a fine line between madness and genius. And I feel like I might have broken through to the other side. Do you really think of me as someone who's looking to humiliate you at every turn? You can only pants someone on the jungle gym so many times, Lola. But look. What? Think about it. How many tattered curtains and loose skulls have you seen while we've been down here? Hell is like Barney the Clown's big top Halloween shop, but less emotionally scarring. So, so, so all we need to do is put together a costume slash disguise and then we come back here and stroll right past this uppity moron it, it, anyways i was saying that i think we should disguise ourselves as a demon so so we can sneak into the sealed knot yeah uh have i lost you i did didn't i i mean as far-fetched as it is it's not half bad almost as good as your instant s'mores idea yeah but this idea won't get ruined by a german microwave let's go shopping shopping I was trying to... let's find the materials to make a costume. Oh, sorry. Uh, hey, so when you told Sam about how I was gonna work with my mom... Yeah? Well, you... Uh, I don't know. You, you didn't seem... Uh, well, you did seem a little... like... I, I, I don't know the word I'm looking for here. Like, uh... Oh, geez, I need like a thesaurus. Annoyed? Even though, you know... You're the one moving. What the hell does that mean? Well, it means if anyone should feel like betrayed oh. or whatever, it's me. Not that either of us do. Or would. Ever. I'm just living my life, Milo. Or living my truth, as my aunt would say. Mostly when she wanted to wear her bra as a belt. Okay, I don't even know why I brought it up. It was just your your tone back there. Well, neither do I. We got a lawyer demon to outsaw, so get fucking frosty. Go upstairs. I don't know what. I, are we going to the other club? You gotta find an outfit. The Karma Magistratus, the Great Hall of Cosmic Justice. I wonder what kind of cases they see. You'd think this stuff would be worked out pretty well in advance. Eh, it's probably like people who brag think... too much about giving a good. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, it's one cup mashed up nose weevil, a half cup body butter, three eggs. What kind of eggs? Uh, soft shell turtles if they're in season, a little flour, hateful flour. Uh huh. And what about? And then we skin fry some unicorns and toss them in oil. Sounds great. I'll take one. Here you go. I 
I regret having that. They're still working out the recipe. Oh wow, he said I regret have. Ooh, wait, 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 what is this? What is this? Oh, drunk children! Drunk <laughs> children, please! <laughs> Take some treats from Treat Cart. I'm Lutzelfau, and my charming Germanic witch recipes will surely soak up all that alcohol. We're not drunk. Then pretend, okay? The rebel here is more discerning than Lutzelfau expected. They don't serve lava blasters here, so everyone still has their taste buds. Okay, well, so down here a minute then. We're, uh, we're, you know, we're intelligent people, and intelligent people require some measure of... Gods, you selfish little pricks! You'll shut down the borders if a kumquat slips past Mexico, but you have to barter with my shit. Just tell Lutzelfrau what you want, or be gone, quickly. Your dress, I it's so... I've just never seen this fabric before, and it's so hard to go thrift store shopping in hell without a purse. Ah, what an eye you have. The fabric is a mesh sewn from the hair of oh, children wow. born during an eclipse. Damn, that's exclusive. You can only acquire it through Mazoku rituals or Thursday night specials, of course. Mm. For this, you'll need to sell your love for Lutzelfrau's treats good, my dear. Give me, uh, just give me your least disgusting piece of crap. Uh, but not, uh, not literal poop, please. Right. Good catch. Eh, uh, what's the hold up? I should have fed it to Milo. Oh, so you like Lutzelfrau's Ebola bellied rats? Do you, my dear? Oh, my dear Jesus, it's. It's it's so damn good. <laughs> I can't I, I I can't even. Uh, hey, that idiot tried that weird witch's candy. They love it. Holy shit! Let's go, guys. Come on, let's get some candy. Yeah. I should have fed it to Milo. I should have fed it to Milo. Now it's gonna be a riff oh, yes. because oh, I keep doing the shit I need no to do. Need to shove. I have we so gotta make Milo do something. For all my diseased meats. Okay, now the dress, if you please. Give us the. The dress, you... Oh, God. Mm. Why was I bored? Okay. Follow Lutzelfrau. And smile, dipshits. You're on camera, all right? So no samples while I'm gone. So, you're sharing, I presume? Who's gonna be the head, and who's gonna be the tail? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah you're, like, way <laughs> taller, aren't you? Weight and good taste dictate I get on top. Hope you're cool with that? Yeah, of course I'm cool with it. Yeah, I was embarrassed to be the top cheerleader on the pyramid in junior high. Mm -hmm. Well, I was embarrassed for you for other closely related reasons, but yeah. There we go! Uh, I'll be honest. I wouldn't let you buy Lutzelfrau a drink. Those mother... Hell is really filled with cock knockers, you know? You wouldn't... You wouldn't think it, but there it is. Okay, whoa. Stop wiggling your shoulders so much. It's... Your skull is pressed up against my junk. I'm sorry, it's... I don't want to say you're heavy, but... You're, uh... Not what? that easy to carry. Oh, watch it. Not kidding. Well, I'm not saying... Just forget it. It's fine. You're... You're, you're light as a feather. A hummingbird feather. Just... Take it easy. Just stop humping Why my neck. Not humping your neck. Stop rubbing your crotch on my neck. How do you oh, think wow. I'm staying on? I'm. Uh, okay, just forget it. Telly ho, telly, telly forth. Let's just get to the ball. Okay, let's get to the ball. We got it though. We got the costume though. We got the costume though. No, no. Oh, shit. I'm trying to run, and I press A, and I go back upstairs. Yo, he gigging. They gigging over here. Come on. Men, you can stow the human and carry on. 
I'll <clears throat> have to check with the owner. Then check with him. I've got less than an hour till trial. Ciao, ragazzo. Another beautiful day in hell. You seem like a well-to-do demon. Very put together. Of scale like a camel. Perhaps you know Andrelfos. Andy? He is my handler. It's us, Roberto. The humans from earlier, Milo and Lola. We are in disguise. <gasps> Bella Arte. Wonderful craftsmanship, truly. Good luck to you, my dear hair friends. My hair thanks you. Shut up and leave that handsome demon alone. Okay, you guys are all set. She's in the back. You move. Walk straight to the kitchen and get into the flower drawer. Of course, of course. Good evening, madam. Right this way. Avert your eyes, surf. I was braining insurance agents when you were still suckling at your dragon's teat. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir. I thought you were a woman at first. <sighs> Get ready to see some wild shit. Let's try not to draw any more attention to ourselves than we need to. Okay, but don't talk anymore. Demon's guts can't speak, I don't think. We're gonna need a refill and uh, something to fish out the teeth. What are you, saving up for college? Huh? There's not enough liquor in my liquor. Gerald. <laughs> There's not <laughs> enough liquor in my liquor. Why don't you give Father Barleycorn here a break, all right? Okay, fine. Sorry, Barley. Didn't know you didn't know how to make a drink. It's all right, Jerry. Thank you, Judge Apollyon. Holy shit. The, uh, the monarch, uh, Apollyon, she's right there. I can, I can see her. Okay, well, it's it's hard to really walk uh, steadily. Just take it slow and don't draw attention to yourself, ourselves. Wow, supermodel convention show up. What can I get you? Uh, one grand exhibitionist. All right. I think that would help us. Oh, you getting sick? <laughs> Why do you ask? Because you sound like you got a baby stuck in your throat with that nasally human voice. It's hell show season, so... I just want to know if I should put on a mask. No, I'm uh, doing just fine. Just snorted too much... <laughs> Hell cocaine. Hell <laughs> 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 cocaine? <laughs> that sounds like something two humans disguised as one gangly demon would say. <laughs> Not that that would ever happen. <laughs> oh, man, that would be a fright. Okay, we have a drink. Let's party with the paralegals. Hi, uh, mind, mind if we... Smell that? Smells like a, a pancreas, right? Like a human's gut line. Lola, let's not get... I don't think I can do this, Lola. Did you say something? Could have sworn I heard something. Hey, uh, he who smelt it, dealt it, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, and he who denied it, supplied it. So where you been washing your fucking nuts, buddy? And he who revealed it, peeled it. So enough, Gerald, calm down. Oh, Actually, what? you know what, guys? I don't think it's this guy. My Mephistopheles beard this place is just going to dung beetles, isn't it? Shit, in its heyday, I'd be having horse hay shoved up my penis hole by now. But today I'm stuck debating the rotten odors of humanity with you jackanapes. Yeah, and we don't fox trot as much as we used to either. I apologize on behalf of my friend here. He's usually not this uh, splenetic. That's not a real word. Ill tempered, spiteful, it by the source. So, just out of curiosity, what did this bar used to be like then? Oh, crazy. Crazy. Uh, go ahead. It was crazy. Sex. Drugs and classical music by trained multi limbed chimerical beings. I mean, we still have the Chamber of Coitus, but. This ain't damn fair. I should have got me some alcohol, man. <laughs> What's a Chamber of Coitus without a Sphinx what? on piano? All right, I'm gonna reload. Anybody want another? Here it is. Yeah, I'll take a horde and squander. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. I'll be back. 
Well, I guess introductions are in order. I'm Adrelfus, defense attorney. Friends call me Andy. That's Delbert, my paralegal. No one calls him anything. And I'm Sister Mary oh. Webhorn, newly counsel for the Who Gives a Shit firm of I'm Making This Up. How's everyone doing? Oh, uh, good. And how are you doing, stranger? Did anyone, no one caught this fellow's name yet, right? Uh, no, we were just getting to it. But I feel like I've seen you before. My name's Lutzelfrau. Lutzelfrau? Really? Oh, you're a witch, right? Ah, I think I've heard of you. She's the one that makes pies out of kittens and washes her clothes in, uh, what, what was it? Feces. Ah, oh, feces, right. Lutzel, Frau. I'm a total recipe hound. Tell me, what's your secret ingredient for those candy apples again? Oh, yes, please, indulge us. <laughs> Help out my mother's cooking, I'll tell you that much. Hey, never mind that, but if you're looking to hire a good cook, I can give you some advice. Never take on a little chef. The stakes are too high. <laughs> Makes sense both literally and figuratively. God, the jackhole ahead of me could decide between a bitter or an ale. Hey, <laughs> look who it is. Gerald, I'd like you to meet Lutzel Fry. Ah, the witch of the Black Forest. Nice to meet you. So anyway, Lori stayed out all hours with Satan and Caligula last night. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. So, of course, the monster didn't show up for her ship this morning. So guess who had a butcher 300 humans by hand? Gerald, seriously? Pick your spots, man. Mm. I'm trying to relax and keep bringing up work. I'm sorry. We can't all be fancy lawyers. Some of us have real jobs. Don't we all? I think our new friend probably knows something about that. Where are you working now, Lutzel Frau? I was just about to ask the same question. I'm in the, uh, the pants department. Slacks, mostly shorts, if I'm feeling frisky. Pants? Can't say I've ever heard of that. Oh. Uh, with the satyrs? Yeah, what floor of fucking Kmart is that on again? Okay, cats and kittens. Trials in a few. In the courtyard, yes? I'll trust you all to finish your drinks on time. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'll be yeah, in Yeah, she tried to set me up. Ooh, I gotta go, uh... Destroy the bathroom, but maybe I'll catch up with you guys later. Wait, you guys, Polly isn't our. <clears throat> uh, you must think you're the cock of the walk, don't you? Well, you might be the cock of the walk, but I'm the chalk of the damn talk. <sighs> I gotta close my window. I'll be back. It's been strange. Polly's been really busy with something lately. Ooh. Something cold, cold, secret. Cold, cold, cold. But uh, I'm sorry. Our are we keeping you? Your wonky eye was kind of following Polly for a moment there. No, no, go on about your, uh, your boss. Well, I shouldn't be really talking about this, but you know our client, Roberto Spaghetti? I think he's Dutch. But anyways, the kid swears up and down that he's innocent. Like, to a degree that's unusual for down here. But Polly, she seems more interested in Satan's affairs. Affairs? It's just, uh, Lucifer's been, well... Hell hasn't been a source of inspiration. Achoo, excuse me. Demons and people aren't exactly skipping to work. It's not fun anymore. And it used to be. It should be. We all know it, and I think. I just think Polly's maybe possibly looking for, well, let's call it a promotion. If you can read between the lines here. I'm following. Wait, wait, wait. Polly wants to run hell? Why the fuck would anybody want to do that? Oh, I don't know. The publicity, the fame, the hedge fund managers sacrificing hookers to you every day. And you know, it's horrible to say, but she has a good heart. And hell doesn't have to just be about what went wrong. It could be about other things, too. We shouldn't be talking about this, Andy. She's just in the other room. All right, all right. I should get back to work anyway. Courthouse opens soon. It was nice meeting you. All right, we successfully pretended to be an incorporeal, malevolent being. Yeah, I wouldn't print that out on a certificate or anything. That's kind of nuts about Apollyon, though. Like, what if we're standing on the precipice of a coup? Hello, fellow... Uh, fellow specters of malevolence. Can I... can I help you with something? This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty similar, right? Don't you think? Yeah. A classic summer style down here, right? Who is that? Whoa, this We 
took a turn somewhere, because... Oh, gross, guys. What's going on? I can't... I can't see. I don't smell like my grandmother's basement. Man, thank God I'm on top. Your delicate sensibilities couldn't... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lying is an accursed vice. It is only our words that bind us together and make us human. That's Montaigne, about a dozen years before he died of tongue paralysis. Everyone says God is a humorist, but what they really mean is, he's a sadist. It's sometimes easy to confuse the two. Wouldn't you agree, Lutzel Frau? Oh, certainly. No, I couldn't agree more. Humans are the worst. That's, is that, that's what she was saying? They know you. are going to be angry at me tomorrow. Hey, you, you sorcerer. You turned me, a demon, into two separate adorable human beings. You're Lola and Milo, heirs presumptive to the Amber Throne, the king and queen of alcohol, by the grace of Lucifer and his partying realms and puking territories. Mm -hmm. You should be very proud to have made it this far. Uh, Apollyon, please, we, we, uh, Okay, look, your your honor. We just want your seal, okay? We we won't tell anyone what what we saw in here or or anywhere in hell. <laughs> for that yes, we will we'll forget all about all the stuff that is permanently burned into my retinas. I could not care any less how many podcasts you do when you get back, child. Did my consorts discuss with you any plans I may be concocting to replace Lucifer as the devil? Think before you answer, please. Keep it real with her. Yes, they, they did. Yes, they did. <sighs> they gossip worse than swine in a slaughterhouse. You are forgetting you ever heard any such story, correct? Uh, will do. I mean, what story? Montaigne, in his wisdom, put only stubbornness below deceit in his ranking of mannered offenses. I personally disagree, but I can see his point. Even so, I have lied tonight and will lie more to annihilate a particularly virulent strain of stubbornness from someone very near and dear to me. And you two are going to help me do it. God damn it. Uh, um, how? Andy. Yes, Your Honor. I need you to observe and assist our latest appointee to the public defender's <laughs> office. Uh, seriously? Yes. Um... Oh. Okay. No, Your Honor, Apollyon, Polly, I, we can't, we can't work for... That will be all, Andrea Alphys. Thank you. Oh, that's happening. You are now part of Roberto Spaghetti's defense team, Lutzel Frau. And as part of that defense team, you are going to ensure that he receives a guilty verdict. Huh? Meow. You want us to take a dive? In so many words, for which you'll be granted the opportunity to outdrink me for my seal. If you win, of course. Now, how does that sound? Well, what if he's innocent? He seemed... I don't know, he didn't seem like the person they described him as. His life is less important than tonight's undertaking, Lola. As difficult as that may be for you to understand. The trial is starting. It's your choice. Either ensure Roberto Spaghetti doesn't leave the Nine Circles, or maybe try your luck with another monarch. If you haven't already burned those bridges, that is. Fuck it, we're in. And... Ready? I suppose as ready as we're going to be. Were you, uh, brought up to speed? They'll learn on the go. It's fine. They're professionals. Professional is what they are. <laughs> if you say so. Already. Hands and feet inside the cart at all times. Please place your belongings in the pouch in your seat. And see you on the other side, kids. Oh, wow. Really? You, uh, you want to get in on this? Sent you to the wrong... Carpal tunnel, whatever. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentle demons, the tribunal is now in session. For the prosecution with a record of eight. The question is, right? If every, if you go to hell, you have, you have, uh, you have to be there. You just don't go there if you don't do something. I mean, that's logic, right? I need to know what he did. 4,609 convictions and counting. 
the toxic tongue flatterer, the legal eagle, the hapus capus, your very own butter and egg man, Malamar. Oh, yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Now, my record speak for itself. But I'd like to add that that achievement has been achieved. Not because I have sought convictions, but because at every turn I have sought justice. <laughs> and for the defense, uh, slight change of plans, but no matter. For the defense, by special appointment, Andreolfus and Wetzelfrau. Huh? I need a drink. Yeah! Yeah, here, here. Where's the barman? Mixologist. Oh, brother, spare me your ill-gotten sense of self-worth. And just get me something with gin in it, will you? And for you, uh, madam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a chance and a double top. Can I have a double top, please? Certainly, ma'am. Place your bets with me, gentlemen. Right over here. <laughs> Okie dokie, everyone. Everyone's got their bets in, got their drinks. Okay, let's get these trials going. I got a Massachusetts manor to possess in like two sunrises. All rise. The dishonorable Judge Tenneville is presiding. Hi, everyone. Hi, Judge Tudevillas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hi, cheers. What's the first, uh, you know, whatever? Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti. Oh, shit, this is ours. I mean, the one Polly once thrown. The defendant is accused of going on a murderous rampage at a carnival and then lighting a carousel on fire. My goodness, my friends, hi. How are you? What, what the fuck? Oh, my God, why? Shut the fuck up, man. I should have never said Another shit. Open and shut case. Start blunting the axes. No, no, you, you, your honor. We know to a certainty that a warlock stole my client's identity. Using hair samples to create a twisted, rancorous version of Roberto to get back at the carnival that fired him. But why would a carnival fire a warlock, your honor? He was hired as a fortune teller, and customers complained that their futures were too depressing. But that's beside the point. The point of fact is that my client, Roberto Spaghetti, is innocent of all charges. Okay, I think Ooh. we've heard just about enough of this. It's clear the defense is just trying to sway the judge's sympathy by appearing incompetent. Absolutely not, Your Honor. In fact, I hated Roberto more than any of you when I first met him. I thought he was guilty, I did, I'll admit it. I judged him for his accent, for his candor, for his kindness that I perceived as symptoms of an oncoming fever. But I was wrong. I have in my possession a signed confession from the warlock himself that will completely exonerate Mr. Spaghetti from all wrongdoing. Wait, do we? Do we really? E yes, whoever said that. The warlock died in a warlocking accident just five minutes ago, and he plea bargained for a lesser sentence to get Roberto off. Our client didn't do anything wrong. You have this confession with you. Andy, Polly told me she wants us to lose. It's really important to us and her. There must be a reason for it. I don't care. Do you know how rare it is to find an actually virtuous soul? Everyone in hell says they don't deserve their lot. Uh, everyone. I've been doing this a long time, and I'm not passing up the opportunity to save someone who actually means it. Counsel, do you have this confession or don't you? Are we really letting this happen, Lola? Apollyon's not going to give us the seal if we let him walk. But Roberto's a good guy. Counsel? Yes, I, uh, I have it right here on my phone. It's, uh, I took a picture of it with an app that makes, it turns your face into a Fuck it. We're not yeah, gonna get see? the seal. Huh. And I, Julian the Warlock, do solemnly swear that it was me who am responsible for all those deaths. Me who am? <laughs> oh, he put that. Sorry, it's an inside joke. We were at a restaurant ordering food and then I... Time's up. Trial done and none too soon. Case number 899, the city of nowhere versus Roberto Spaghetti, the court of karma magistratus finds you. Not guilty by reason of sorcery. Ah, <sighs> grazie. Uh, Mr. Spaghetti is to be immediately released from the guardianship of custodial angels. 
Let's all pray he enjoys nature documentaries, because God knows that's all they fucking watch. <laughs> Not so far. We did good here tonight. We really did. I hope you know that. We saw that that due process isn't just a town in Alaska. And you can really make a difference if you try. Just, uh, just glad we were here to answer the call of justice when the, uh, the phone rang. Thanks, everyone, for coming out tonight. The high courts are proudly sponsored by cupidity, racial fanaticism, an unquenchable hunger for political power, and Reebok fuel pump sneakers. Puff up your life with Reebok. Bye! I don't feel good about what we just did, Lola. I mean, I'm glad we got to help Roberto, but I'm nervous we've just made things a lot 